We are here for America's game, and we're here to pour fuel on that obsession. We know more about the West Coast offense than we know about our own mother's side of the family. We read opposing defenses like children's books with a large type, and we've got more excuses for missing work to play Madden than the Chinese lunar calendar has days. We're here to play Madden until our thumbs are numb, our hearts are full, and our appetite for football is satiated. The tight end has become a potent weapon in the modern NFL's passing game. Oftentimes, they are the quarterback's first read, but also serve as a security blanket for a quick dump pass. If you're tired of being abused for big plays, here are a few techniques that will work in shutting down the opposition's tight end. Jamming. Jamming at the line of scrimmage will disrupt the tight end's route, not allowing him to have a clean release. Line up over the tight end and manually jam him with the defender that's not the tight end's man using R1. This is usually done with an LB, but a corner or safety works as well. Sometimes I will run with him after the jam, but other times I'll let him go after 10 yards or so play on, and play underneath roots. I've gotten a fair amount of interceptions jumping underneath roots as users will think I will always look to cover the tight end. Using a man zone combo coverage. Place your blitzing LB into man coverage on the tight end. When using 4-3, you can also take a linebacker or something as one of the defensive ends and do the same. You want to have your best coverage LB doing this. This will put two men in coverage on the tight end. If you're in man coverage, he will have a man trailing him if he's in zone coverage. Adding a proper route and shading inside man coverage will greatly limit the tight end's route options. Spotlighting. Spotlighting the tight end will tell your defense to focus on him. When in man, drop a yellow short zone to cover the middle. Also, you can turn your flat zones or blitzes into purple zones to guard against the corner route. When spotlighting, these zone defenders will do a better job focusing on the tight end. In general, I'd rather just manually control either, but for those who have the best player control, this works well. In all zone coverages, I don't suggest this though, as it can cause coverage breakdowns, leading another wide receiver wide open. Using a nickel defender. If up against a fast tight end that's more of a receiver, putting an extra quarterback on the field to cover them will greatly help guarding the tight end. When you utilize a quarterback in coverage on a tight end, he'll be more agile, have a quicker reaction time to pass it to the tight end versus a linebacker or safety in coverage. If the tight end is still open to making plays, don't hesitate to move your best cover corner into the nickel position to guard him. It also helps that the cornerback in coverage on a tight end is a bigger cornerback, at least six feet tall. Any combination of these tips will help you defend even the best tight ends in the game. If this video helped you, drop a like, subscribe for more Madden tips and tips and gameplay from your favorite sports games. This is The Natural Sports Gamers Online. I'm out. Seen here, it's one of my favorite plays from the Houston playbook, shotgun tight doubles on cross wheel. The only adjustment is to hot route the triangle wide receiver to a streak and that's it, you can run the play. It's super easy, you have the tight end wide open underneath in man or zone as the streak will run off of the coverage and you also can motion out the wide receiver out to the left and you can and you can hit him versus cover two or sometimes also cover four zones and when you motion that guy out he'll be open. Super easy to make adjustments on this play here, as you can see versus the cover two you can also uh, hit the streak down the middle of the cover two and it'll be wide open so it gives you several options of open wide receivers on the play which makes this play really really deadly with very little adjustment so you can get to the line and run it as quick as possible.